weeks prior to this, months prior to this, I would I had already coached my son. Si algún día algo me pasa y yo estoy enfermo y estoy en la cama y estoy entre el 50 y 50, le dije, mijito, por favor, no me haga sufrir. Disconnect me. And now you were in that position. Bro. Yeah. I said, please don't ever make me suffer. And he said, he said, Dad, what if something happens to me? And I said, son, you're too young, son. It can never happen. Le dije, it'll never happen to you. Le dije, and if anything were to happen with you, if anything were to happen to you, I'd go right behind you. It's not supposed to be that way. Pero lo que le dije, Rock. Le dije, I promise you, if anything were to happen to you, le dije, yo me voy contigo. Así le dije. So imagínate todo esto lo traga en la cabeza. Miedo, ¿verdad? Miedo de que si algo le pasa, pues aquí se termina mi vida también. No porque soy cobarde, porque le dije, I promise. So what did you decide, Jesse? Bro, I went on a walk. There's a park around there. I went on a walk. And I just walked and walked and walked with nobody. Y sentía que yo soy una persona de, bast de bastante sentimiento. Sentía que sentía que el aire me besaba y me decía todo va a estar bien. So regresaba al hospital y ahora tenía el 15% de vivir, el 20%. Finally, he was at 50% at a 50% chance of living, and he was in ICU. <laughs> I remember one night I was dead asleep, and it can it can and it can't mean something. I know what it means to me, but I remember like a month and a half after that, I remember dreaming. I was in the hospital. I stood contra la pared así. Y ahí venía Jacob. And when I saw him, I saw him as an old man. Like he didn't look like 21. He looked like 50, 60 years old. And I put my head down. And then when I picked up my head again, it looked like Jacob again, but it was Jacob in a in a different form, in a different like bien juvenil pero maduro and he puts his hand on my shoulder and he told me dad he goes you're gonna be all right true story man when i woke up my first initial thought was i'm never gonna be able to speak to him again and it's been like that bro You know, a lot of people were praying for him. A lot, of, a lot of people still pray for him. A lot of people don't understand the situation. The hardest thing to do sometimes is explain to people when they ask you, how's he doing? Yeah. Here's the answer to that. When things happen in your life, you will never be able to move forward. You will never ever be able to move forward unless you accept things. I give everybody this example. If you're in a vehicle accident and you lose your arm, can you grow your arm? No. You can't. You can only pray to God that God will give man the knowledge to one day give you uh, an arm that's not real, but that you're able to use one. And you're So that's what I pray for. I went to go see a specialist in Monterrey and I just I saw a scan And it just, it, it tore me to pieces. I knew that Jacob was never going to be the same. He will never be the same. The only way he can have a change is if, if man gives God that knowledge, if God gives man that knowledge to be able to, technology, to reconnect something in there. But as far as, it's, it's hard to accept, but I had to and I accepted it. Today I live a very happy life. I live a very positive life. So whenever I go, I try to go late at night when nobody's around. And I speak to him and I try to be happy. 
Una vez me dijo una señora, <ríe> me dijo una señora, este, me dijo, no estés triste cuando estés aquí. Uh -huh. Tal vez él no te oye, pero Dios sí. And so, you never know, he, he might be able to hear you, dude. Ojalá, ojalá. You know, I, they I, don't I, I know, know that. He, he, can, he can hear me, bro. And they can feel the oh, positive they, vibe. They can feel sure, the happiness. Bro. And for sure. that might be able to bring him back, dude. He, you know? he, he will... He will It boosts the body. It boosts the brain, the he, the soul, the, he the will, spirit. He will never be the same, but he's still my son. You know what I mean? He he's still be. he's still my son. Yeah, and I'm still proud of him. Mm -hmm. And I tell him when I see him, I'm so proud of you, regardless of everything that's ever happened. And uh, the time and, that uh, he spent with you was just amazing, bro. That's so, bro. So a after this accident, and everything I have to go back on tour. I have to go back on tour. Because all the bills were not stopping, and mm -hmm. Jacob's bills were adding, <sighs> and I was just like, "Gary, cómo la vamos a hacer?" Right. So we ended up finding a bass player, and his name is Ruben Robles, and he was with playing with uh, Poder. Well, Ruben Robles is my son's favorite norteño bass player. Poder del Norte. So le habla Ruben, le digo, Ruben, cómo ves? Ah. Yeah. Oh, see, bro. He's been with us ever since. But getting back to those tours, bro, I remember I would get on stage, sing, and I would get on the bus and just fucking cry. But it was tough, bro. It was super tough. Te digo porque I would play on the weekends and I would fly to Houston or, or straight from there to the hospital. Just living on the edge, man. Exhaustion. Just super exhausted. But I was always very grateful for the people that prayed for him. I was always grateful for for everything that everybody for everybody that was that was helping and that was praying. I was and I've I, always, always been been grateful, bro. I am more than sure that your your son would have wanted it that way as well, man. He yeah. wanted you to keep going, man. That's oh, why he wanted sure, to be man. a part of you, you know? You know what? It, when, 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 at that time, they went ahead and released an album, and it was the album he recorded. I mean, we weren't doing it, but it was just happening that everybody wanted an interview. Yeah. Everybody was playing us. Mm -hmm. And it took us to, like, another status. It just took us to Mexico it took us to that's not the way I wanted to do it right yeah but it it took us there and sometimes it's hard for me to go to work yeah because I look back yeah he's not there yeah but he's right here so I, I, I always have that constant battle of it's not so much a battle it's, it's, it's more of I miss him I can imagine, man. But other than that, bro, I mean, we've been going places and everywhere I go, man, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. People love you, I man. open my eyes and I just, music. I just see thousands and thousands and thousands of people and I just, <laughs> I cannot believe it. I can I wanted to play in front of 500, bro. <laughs> I wanted to play in front of 500. We play in front of thousands. I wanted one tour bus. We have three different ones, one for management, one for roadies, and one for us. Well, I, I, you know, you I, know, you I know, knew you were you, destined to go there. You know the feeling, bro, when you first get into your first tour bus. Mm -hmm. It's just, yeah, it's overwhelming. It's something that you, you, you through hard work. But let me tell you, bro, uh, I knew you were you were on your way to this status uh, ever since you hit my Mustang with your van, dude. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you and know, like, esa, I, I esa, said you're not going to be in that van too fue long, la, man. Esa fue la de la suerte, bro. <laughs> fue el golpe de la suerte. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, I want to thank you for coming, bro. Oh man, and thank sharing you, bro. your life with us here, oh, man. Bro. I got and nothing but love opening you your heart, bro. And, you know, I've seen you since you were a little kid, man, at a little bar, dude, you were playing on stage. You know what? I think it was El Toro Dance Hall, dude. 
in yeah. Lyford, man. Lyford. You were there, and, and you, were, you were showing off on that accordion, man, and I always yeah. knew that kid's going to do something, man. He's yeah. got something special. And, man, you've grown into a, uh, a man that, uh, that has become a brilliant songwriter, Thank you. composer, studio musician, performer, entertainer. Uh, you got it all, man, and not many <laughs> artists have that, bro. And you have a beautiful son, too, bro, that you ha you support 110%, man. And Thank that's you. all that matters in this day and age, bro. Thank you, bro. That's all that matters in life. Uh, uh, una vez me preguntaron, ¿qué es lo más importante en la vida? Lo más importante en la vida es ser feliz. Mm -hmm. You have to accept things that happen in life, and you have to learn to be happy. Mm -hmm. um, I'm happy today, man. You it, can find a, a happiness it, in anything. You can, you can just look for it. You know. You can find happiness anywhere, and you can find you can find God in a four-letter word, which is love. Mm -hmm. And it's all we do, man. And I love you, bro. I love you too, bro. Thank, Thank you for the, God bless Thank you. Thank you for the history. Thank you. Because <laughs> this guy right here is part is a big part of is a part of our culture. Is a part of our our history of, of music. Is part of not just us, but many yeah. many many bands and we still got more to go so you just keep it right there on hashtag pvt professional valley talk asusta me one time what are you driving now i got a truck man there's no way you can hurt it four-wheel drive lifted now i can hurt yours 